Well, hello everyone. Welcome to Farming Simulator 22, and we are on Elm Creek today, but we're not playing today. Today we're discussing, well, stuttering, and hopefully no stutter. Nice license plate on this beautiful mod by OK Used Mods. So I've been dealing with this issue, I guess, best described as a micro stutter. And it's not the big lag or the big stuttering that you get when you initially start a map and your shader cache is still being built up. I'm sure many of you are familiar with that. If you've been around Farming Simulator long enough, you know that initially when you start a map, you're going to do the old run around, look at buildings, crops, trees. Um, you're going to want to go up and get inside vehicles, actually get in, into the interior and look around them completely and get that shader cache built up so that your game will run smoother. Some people do that, like myself. That's like the first thing I do is I run around the map, I fly around the map, and I want to get that shader cache built up so that my game plays as smooth as possible. Some people will do it while they play. It's just up to you. But today, I want to talk more specifically about a micro stutter. The micro stutter is that little thing where, at least for me, I'm inside the cab. It's 99, if not 100% of the time, I'm actually driving inside cab, driving down a road or a dirt road or around the field, and I get this little stutter, this little tiny hiccup. And it's just been driving me a little bit crazy. So I started doing some research and some messing around and I've been switching all kinds of settings and all kinds of things. But I think I finally stumbled across the one thing that has made the biggest difference for me. In fact, I would venture to say possibly 99 to 95 to 99% better. Okay. So what we're going to do is now when you're building your shader cache, if you're not aware of this, um, you're going to want to make sure that after you do all your running around that you go out and you quit the game properly. This is super, super important. If you don't quit the game properly, the shader cache will not save properly and all that work and effort will be for naught. Don't do the quit to desktop. That's part of this additional settings mod that's in the Giants Mod Hub. By, by the way, this is a great mod. It's got a lot of cool uh, little tweaks um, that you can use, but one of them is this quit to desktop. Super handy once your shader cache is built up, but don't use it until that's good to go. So once you've built up your shader cache, you can do a quit to desktop, say yes, and that is going to allow the game to properly save your shader cache. Now for the micro stutter, this is what I've come across. If you go into options, now if you're using head tracking or like a track IR or something like that, and you're actually using it in the game, this really isn't for you because you're going to have it enabled here and that's just how you're going to want to play. I have track IR, but I don't use it in farm sim. I use it for other games. So I turn it off. Well, it turns out maybe that's not really off, isn't really off, off. Off is just kind of off. So let me show you something here. Let's quit the game. Let's go out to our desktop and let's head over to our Farming Simulator 2022 folder, which for most of you is going to be under Documents, My Games. It's going to be where your Mods folder is. So if you know where your Mods folder is, you're in the right location. And there's that Shader Cache folder that I was telling you about. And there's that Shader Cache file with today's date because I've been playing and it's probably added some, uh, some info to it. But the one that we're mostly interested in right now for the micro stutter is this game.xml file. Now I would recommend that you make a backup anytime you're messing around with any of these files, the game XML, the game settings, and the, uh, the um, input bindings. I like to have a copy of those things, an original copy, just in case I mess around a little too much with them if you get my drift. Um, and to do that, it's super easy. I just right click and I do a, well, you can either right click and do a copy or an alt C and then I just do a paste and it'll make another copy. So you can see copy two because there was already run one there. So there's a copy for us right there. But we want to go into the actual game.xml file. I'm using notepad++. It's a free app. Uh, super nice. 
uh, for doing things like this with XML files. At least I find it's a little bit easier than just using WordPad, which you're more than welcome to use if you'd like. But what we're looking for is this head tracking section right here. And you can see they're all trues. Well, that's not true. I want it off. So I'm going to switch all of these to false. Very, very simple. Easy peasy, switch to false. And that's it. This is exactly what has helped pretty much eliminate my micro stutter. So once I have all that entire thing, all three of those set to false, very important, you go up and you save it. If you don't save it, it's not going to do you much good. So we went ahead and saved that. Let's reopen that file and make sure that our settings were saved, which they are indeed, all set to false. And then go back into your game and give it a go and see if it helps. I think uh, I, you know, I'm just speaking from personal experience. This has been the really the one and only thing that has helped me with the micro stutter stuff. And you can see head eye tracking is still set to off. And if we can go back into our game, there aren't any permanent, you know, no downsides that I can think of at all, other than the fact that it seems to have definitely helped with the micro stutter inside cab issues that I was having. So I hope this is helpful to somebody out there. Um, I, you know, it's, it's information that I, that is out on the web, but it's kind of been, you know, do this, do that. Um, but I didn't feel like it was super clear. And some people mentioned just to turn it off in game, but it's important that you actually go in and edit that game.xml file. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching the video. I really hope it was helpful to somebody. I put my PC specs down in the uh, description below so that you can check those out and see, maybe kind of do a comparison with your specs. If you're having lag issues or micro stutter issues. Um, and if you have any questions or if you know of another better way to do this, or if you've had better luck doing something else, yeah, definitely put them in the comments below. I'd be interested to, uh, to hear. You all take care of yourselves. God bless. And I will see you again soon.